Welcome back to Boring Gear Reviews. Today we have the brand new pedal from Audio Surplus FX, the Dornen Krona. Massive thanks to Audio Surplus FX for sending this over for me to demo. So the Dorner and Krona is a high gain octave fuzz based kind of on the platform of a hyper fuzz with a HM2 tone stack. So what that means is that this pedal is basically designed to tear your face off. And it does that with every single one of the controls. So to start with, we have output, which will control the overall output of the pedal while it's on. We're going to come back to this middle one. Next, we have gain, which will control the amount of distortion in the pedal. Then on the bottom, we have our EQ section. So we have low, which will boost or cut the low end, mids, which will boost or cut mids, and high, which will boost or cut high end. Wherever the high is set, this Dorn control will add in like higher frequencies after this. So wherever this is set to cut, this will add in, in, a, in like a different frequency range, a high end. So you can boost it for like more metallic, harsher sounds, and you can roll it back for a little darker, a little smoother, but still retaining high end definition. Super cool idea. Got top jacks and DC, and this is a mechanical foot switch, but it is a very smooth and easy press. For today's demo, I'm using my 1980 Tokai Reborn Old LS80, and this has Total Gravy Guitar Works Gravy Bucker pickups. <laughs> So for this first clip, we're going to have the output set around 2 o'clock. We're going to have the Doran control around 1 o'clock. Gain will be at 10. We're going to have the low at 10. We're going to max the mids, and we're going to have the high at 10 as well. About midway through this section, I'm going to roll the volume back on my guitar so you'll hear some cleanup, and then I'm going to engage the Chase Bliss tonal recall for some delay. So like I said, this pedal is made to be hyper aggressive. You know, every time I think, oh, I... Pedals aren't going to get more intense or more aggressive. I'm not going to hear like a gnarlier distortion. Then something comes out and I'm proven wrong. <laughs> this thing is so insanely aggressive. It's amazing to play. So anyway, we're starting with an aggressive octave fuzz sound, but it's going to have like a very throaty nasally quality because we're boosting those mids and we're rolling back both the low and the high. So on an HM2, um, when you roll back low and high, it boosts mids anyway. And then to have an added mid control, it just gets, you know, I've said it before, I'm a slut for mids. I just love mid so much. So this is like a really special treat <laughs> for me. What's crazy, though, is it's so insanely aggressive. And then when we roll the volume back, it cleans up beautifully. I don't know how, but it definitely does. So anyway, enjoy. <laughs>
All right, next up, we're going to have the output still at 2. We're going to roll back the Doran control to 9. We're going to have the gain at noon. We're going to have both low and high around 1 o'clock. And then mids is going to be rolled back to around 10 o'clock. We're also going to add a little bit of reverb from the Death by Audio rooms. So this is going to be a bit more scooped. And normally, if I roll mids back on an EQ, it feels like it's lacking something. But that I didn't find here. Like, obviously, the, the tonal characteristics change but it still feels present. It still feels articulate and, and in your face. It's really cool the way the EQ complements all the, you know, the distortion circuit in here. Like you don't, you don't lose out on stuff. And with the low end boosted in particular, it just sounds like extremely heavy and brutal. I'm gonna start with the volume rolled back again. You'll hear it cleans up beautifully and then it'll go full out and it's just, it, it's really crushing and like uh, punishing. <laughs> Lastly, we're going to max everything and get, for me, one of my favorite sounds I've ever heard from a pedal. So we're going to keep the output around two, and that's just to prevent it from clipping, and then everything else is maxed. It's thick and also clangy and metallic, and it just feels like it's shredding everything in its path. It's like one of the most aggressive sounds I've ever heard. And I'm not exactly sure how to phrase this, but the pedal sounds loud. I don't just mean distortion. I've had gain pedals, you know, whether it's distortion or fuzz, where it, it, forget about the output, like it just it feels kind of subdued or or too squashed or something like that. And and there's a feeling like it doesn't feel loud. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody else but me. But uh, with this, it feels loud. It's very open, even though it's being like just crushed to hell. It just it's such an awesome sound. Enjoy. <laughs>
that's a wrap on the audio surplus effects during Corona. This pedal goes on pre-sale today and there are only 30 slots available. So get in while you can. When I think of a heavy octave fuzz, octave distortion, like just crushing and punishing sound, this is what I'm after. This is like 100% what I'm after. Every note feels like you're being kicked in the teeth and I honestly can't get enough of it. Super high quality build, feels amazing in your hand. Love the artwork, love the color scheme. You know, audio surplus effects is just from top to bottom, just outstanding work. So if you like making a ruckus too, check the links in the bio for everything I'm using today. If you dig the content, please consider hitting that subscribe, like, share, comment, all that stuff. It means the world to me and really helps the channel out. And I'll make one last reminder that we have a giveaway coming up. Once we hit 2000 subscribers, we're like 40 away and we might have something from audio surplus effects in there. I don't know. So subscribe here, follow me on Instagram. Don't miss out on that. All right. And that's it until next time. Peace.